this. Welcome back. Um, like I said, we I told you we have a special, special guest in the studio today. Her name is Stefan Dante. She is, you should watch out for her. Um, before I go into our details, I would just like to introduce her. Hello, Stefan. Hello. Hi. Thank you hi. for coming hi. on the Ben Breakfast Show. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank okay, you're you. welcome. Do you want to tell us a bit about yourself before we start throwing the questions at you? <laughs> um, well, as you said, my name is Stefan Dante and I'm a writer. Yeah. I consider myself as a writer even though um, right now I'm doing music. I like to write um, all sorts of stuff, poetry, short stories. Um, yeah, but you know, right now I've got some projects with music and yeah, an album coming out soon. So yeah. Yeah, talking yeah. about music, mm. music, music. That album, you know, the one that caught my eye was this Nail Did. Nails Why did. did you come up with the name Nail Did? Nails Did. Yeah. Okay. Well, we I was in the studio working and um, we were just I uh, was working with a producer. And we were just messing around in there, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I was just like, you know, yeah just going with it <laughs> and then and then I was just like I just want to get my nails did. did like that and then yeah. after that I was just like kept on going I just want to get my nails did I just want to so then after that I was just like put this beat so I started beatboxing um this rhythm to yeah. to the guy that I was working with called Swift Knight yeah and um he he laid down the track and then from there it was just yeah, just writing songs. It's, it's, it's um, I mean, at the core of it, it was supposed to be like a fun, you know, mm -hmm. song, or, you know, getting your nails done and yeah. stuff like that. But um, as as we started to kind of, because initially we wanted to give it to uh, a girl group, mm -hmm. um, but as we started to, um, you know, produce a track, and then I started working with Eagle mm -hmm. um, from Schlepp Records. Okay. Um, he was just like, you know. A lady and her nails and her appearance and stuff like that. Mm. It's 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 what she puts on, on. in order to um, get out and you know you know feel com confident and strong in the world and stuff mm. like that. So it um, it's just like a metaphor for you know being whatever it is that you as an individual have in order to get yourself set for mm. the world that we live in. Or Interesting. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, fantastic. Uh, well, talking about the same uh, album. Uh, yeah, it's coming for, from. Well, it's a working title at the moment is called it Hummingbird. Yet, Not it? yet. Yeah, that's going to be in 2016. All right, when it's released, I mean, uh, <laughs> what, what, what have you got planned? Any concerts, shows? You can come to my, one of my birthday parties. <laughs> you have to pay I'll, for I'll, that. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you with, yep. uh, you know, typical African party. Potato <laughs> salad. I'll send you potato salad. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> and, got, and some fufu, yeah? And some fufu. Oh, yeah, yeah. fufu, please. Yeah. So, I mean, tell us, yeah. I mean, uh, Mm -hmm. What do you intend to do when the album, you know, when the tune is out? Are yeah. you going to make tours in Europe? Yeah, d definitely. I mean, um, we want to just just keep it rolling, really, and do um, as many, you know, live shows because I I, I I I can't wait to be able to interact with the audience and stuff like that. That's one thing that I'm looking forward to do, and just just keep making music that you know everyone likes and you know, you know, people all over the world can can um can relate to and, and dance to because I don't consider myself as just like a UK based artist. I, I, I consider myself as someone that's global, international mm -hmm. um, and I want to be able to appeal to, to uh, you know, to everyone, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm looking forward to just see how um, uh, the, uh, the 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 global market responds and so, the global yeah. audience responds to Stefan Dante and yeah. and, and, the and music. who's the producer behind uh, the uh, song Nails, Nails did. yeah Nails who did. are the producers who, who else is involved that we need to know um, there's uh, well my management is Schlepp Records mm. um, and um, they differ a lot from from your regular management because they really they're not they're very selective over mm. who that they they take on board yeah. um, uh, in regards to you know they're right with you at the beginning and mm. they see you grow and develop as a, as an artist working with you mm. and you know and you know they let you develop and your style working with different people so forth so that's slept management and I'm working with Eagle E, Steve yeah. Eagle E, on, on a lot of the tracks. So, okay. yeah, most of the tracks, yeah. So. Yeah, reading your biography, mm. I saw something that caught my eye. Yes. And you know what I'm about to say? They say you're yeah, the next UK Missy Elliott. Yeah. So, 
and we know Missy Elliott is known for our dance steps or mm. whatever. So why did they refer you to the next you came to Elliott? Well, they well <laughs> we had um, well uh, Eagle ma Management brought in some people together and listened to some listened to Nels and listened to some some of the other stuff and they were just like oh, it sounds like a Missy Elliott track. So, okay. So that was really what kind of sparked it. I mean, I didn't do it myself as a Missy Elliott, <laughs> <laughs> as a Missy Elliott, but that was what you know when when they they, they, they listened to it. But what's what I would say is that uh, it's it's best not to put me in a kind of like to say Missy I mean when you listen to the different tracks that I've done yeah it's they're very very different like this one is very kind of R&B hip-hop mm. the next one is very indie acoustic mm. so what I like I mean I love music and I and and what I focus on is is my writing and whatever 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 um, form that takes in expressing that feeling or that moment, whether or not it will be rock or R&B or jazz <clears throat> or soul is what I will use mm. to, to be able mm. to um, express that. You just mentioned, uh, you know, writing. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, tell me that uh, for the first time I heard this word, I used to call it, you know, as a young boy in Africa, I used to say, I want to be a pot. A pot. <laughs> I just say, I do want to be a pot. I mean, people say, Chinode, what is a pot? What? No, I want to be a pot. <laughs> Meaning a poet. A poet. Yeah, yes. you, know, you know, I was quite young then, you know. Mm. My mm. English wasn't up to, up to scratch. Yeah. yeah you're into po poetry. Yes. yes. Do you think poetry does actually contribute? Because most people say mm. most poet, like uh, Tupac Shakur, mm, yeah. who uh, was a poet, and, mm -hmm. you know, his songs or rap yeah. music was up to scratch. Yeah. Do, do you say poetry plays a very positive a yes. part in terms of how you write your music, Definitely. especially nails. Did you add a bit of poetry into? <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, one of the obvious features is that it rhymes, but mm. also when you look at um, different forms of poetry, just on a technical technical level, like each, like the stanzas and how it all and, and and you know why certain words are put in that specific places and iambic pentameters and whatever, whatever. I mean, it's a lot of it. As much as it's, there's a lot of technicality and mathematics mm. in poetry that you still. Um, that transcends into music as well yeah. and in the way that you write music as well but um, some of my favourite poets are obviously I, I do like Shakespeare even though that's yeah. probably an <laughs> obvious one but um, metaphysical poets and stuff I, you know I like the way that they they used it you know different metaphors and stuff like that mm. in order to express very deep subjects and I think that that's something that you will notice with my writing is that on the surface, mm -hmm. you know, it, there's there's one issue, and as you keep going down, the more you listen to it, the more you'll be able to see, oh, what is she really talking about there? Yeah. What what other issues is she hitting yeah. on? Mm -hmm. So yeah. So well, about okay. uh, concerts, sorry, I was going to say concerts. Uh, mm -hmm. You look like you've got some stage presence. You know, you're she's look, got it. She's beautiful. Got the, she's what's this got word uh, the young people use? Uh, uh, is it diving or diva or diving? Diva. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my English today? I'm not for sure. I want to say diving. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Is, is, you're it, is not, it you're diving? You're not a girl, so you want to say diva. I just know diva. it's something like that. Diving I'll, or I'll diva. Let you, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Diva, I don't mean diving or diva. You say diva, right? Yeah. So, you got the stage presence, of yeah. course. Uh, I mean, have you done any shows that, in particular, that uh, um, have caught you? Uh, uh, personally, done any shows? No, but I've always loved from when I was a re when I was a child. I always did like I, I didn't go to any like Pacific school, but in primary school and stuff like that. I mean, some of my greatest roles was when I was in year four, and I did. Um, uh, I played Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, and mm. I loved that. And I, <laughs> that's and I did thing coming yeah, out there. And yeah. I did, and I played Rumple Skilt Skin when I was really little, and I played the Pied Piper. Mm. So, like for me, I mean, if if I was to say anything, when I was a little girl, I always wanted to be an actress first, mm. and then. Um, when I was in year four, I met an amazing teacher and she inspired me to write because we used to keep diaries. Okay. So she was just like, the person who has the most diaries at the end of the year will get a gift. So my competition <laughs> head went on and I'm just like, I'm writing the most. So that really sparked out the writer in me and she said to me, never stop writing. Mm. So that was, so that really brought that out. And I think writing has always been a way to express the many different characteristics yeah. of, 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 of myself, but of yeah. people, mm. you know, being able to put your, your, your mind and heart into somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you might um, think about acting in the future? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. see that mm. because you know you write well mm. and obviously you sing. Mm. Acting wouldn't be bad at all. Mm. No, I would love to. I mean, yeah. I'm, right, right now, I'm just I'm just happy to to be working on on and, and doing something that I love to do, and just taking each stage stage at a time and making sure that each foot is secure. Um, but yeah, whatever opportunities come, come up in the future, definitely. yeah, I would. Yeah. I would love what to about in terms of uh, obviously we all have.
have to make uh, uh, ends uh, meet. Yes. Not ends carrots or ends vegetables. <laughs> we have to make ends meet. Mm. We need to eat the meat. Exactly. <clears throat> so how do you go about uh, maintaining mm. your life? Does music give you money? Or, you know, I've known some yeah. artists yeah. that... Uh, you know, who do the KFC job, yeah. the McDonald's job, and then when they see me and tell me they hide or, mm. pretend, they, <laughs> or pretend they're going to the toilet yeah. so that we don't see them. Mm. Uh, mm. But then, of course, such is life. I mean, yeah. you have other sources of income. I mean, that, uh, it, I mean you have to be realistic in this game. Mm. I mean, uh, you've got to feed yourself and you've got yeah. bills to pay and, and, and you're here to... And, as much as it is, is a very on the outside is a very glamorous industry, you want to put the main focus is to put food on the table. Yeah. And at first, yeah, you got to do a lot of jobs that you don't particularly like. I mean, I've worked in um, sandwich shops. I've done uh, teaching assistant roles. I've done mm. cleaning. Mm. I've done um, tutoring. Mm. I've done a, you know a bunch of different jobs in mm. order for me to be able to pursue yeah. um, career. Um, my career. You know, and and it's a lot of sacrifice. It doesn't it doesn't come like you know. Mm, snap of definitely. your fingers and everything's laid out yeah. on the table you know so it's um it you know you've got to be there's a sense of humility you've got to have you know because you're not going to be living this you know yeah million dollar lifestyle straight, straight away, away yeah. Yeah. yeah well what about um you know in, in terms of this one aspect of artists which mm. is difficult for both men and women yes which is uh you know if you're a man uh, or the what do you call them again? Not diving, divers, divas. Divas, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Who come your way. Mm -hmm. If you're a lady like you, mm. looking beautiful, gorgeous, Thank stage you. presence, you've got these men that come mm. in, mm -hmm. uh, whether they're driving or not, but mm -hmm. they come with uh, a lot of lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> throwing <laughs> lyrics and scripts at you, trying yeah. to win your heart, trying yeah. to tell you, yeah. to take you to a dinner or lunch that mm. you've never had. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with, uh, you know, such issues? Like, you know, so, you know would, do you think that would... Uh, uh, disturb your mm. career because sometimes it does having a relationship yeah having yeah. a relationship with mm. somebody mm. or being the attention of all the men yeah how do you handle that side of things I mean to be honest with you I mean <laughs> I don't even look at myself that way I, I, as I, I'm very level-headed to be honest mm. and I've never been a person that's been like oh look at me or look at my looks or mm. I've never gone by on my face I've all or my looks on my body I've always said you know, give me a chance and you can, with my personality, and yeah. that, will, that will be enough. I mean, even in job interviews, it's always been my personality mm -hmm. that's what my job. Even if I didn't know what to do, it was that. So um, in regards to attention, yes, yeah. you keep it in its right place. If it's put in the, you know, if, if you know, the attention that I want is, is for people to be able to listen to my music, um, you know, uh, like my music, and um and my writing and, and whatever else that i do and just enjoy it but mm. other than that no i'm not really yeah i'm um, talking about <laughs> your writing um mm. skills mm. and talking about your new album that'll be coming out next year mm. do you um write maybe when you write mm -hmm. apart from the music the nails it and everything mm -hmm. are there other tracks in the music that will have to do with your personal life or what you've experienced uh, definitely i mean um what i what i think is amazing about art, art in itself is is that it appeals to the whole a whole of humankind yeah. and you know we've all experienced sadness and sorrow and love and excitement and yeah. you know we've all experienced those Everything. things so the only thing that is there's nothing that I'm writing about that hasn't been written before mm. hasn't been touched on before mm. it's only just Stefan Dante's mm. way of expressing it True. um so all it is is just um me being able to um have the skill to be able to write uh, to to make the track in such a way where it will be appealing to to everyone, yeah. but touch on touch on those deeper deeper feelings. So yeah, definitely subjects that um, are very you know dear mm. to me, like mm. heartbreak or feeling sad or wanting to be alone or feeling happy and yeah. you know you know you know it's um, just a whole range. If I don't know if we're gonna ask you because I'm just very curious to. I've heard it on, on YouTube. I like it, but yeah, you wanted you wanted, to sing. yeah, I wanted well, to say actually. Sing, actually. I wanted to say uh, ask this like. Mm. Uh, most artists mm. have made it through collaborations. Yes. And collaborations do help. Uh, yes. I know the likes of like uh, the P Squared of Nigeria, <laughs> who are oh, very yeah, outstanding yeah, yeah. on stage. Yeah. But look at that collab uh, they did with... Collabo, uh, uh, with Don Collabo, Jazzy. Or no, with Akon. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. It, I mean, it, they were already there, but mm. it spiced them up. Like mm, now, mm, everyone, mm. if you don't know P Square, then you, you know, you've never watched Telly. Yeah, my nana, you, my nana loves P Square. You've never seen that, <laughs> right? You, you don't have Telly. Yeah. Collaborations. Mm. Who, are, who, who, are, who do who would you like to collaborate with? Not in terms of getting famous, but uh, an artist that in, you think in right, will in right, blend in, in with you. your music. Oh, who would I like to collab with? Um, 
You put me on the spot. I would love to do something with Prince. I would love to do something with Robin Thicke. Mm, I would love to do Robin something Thicke. with like Busta Rhymes. Mm. I love like Wu Tang Clang and yeah. you know. Like why are these them. artists? What tell us? Why are these artists? Um, <laughs> why? Because there's. Um, They've just been the, 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 the songs that I've grown up with, the stuff mm. that I've listened to on the yeah. radio. And, and like I said, as, as someone who loves to write, and when you're listening to what they're writing about and, you know, their music, you know, you get inspired, it's inspired mm. from it. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm, right, before somebody asks you to sing. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, sure that, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are listeners out there that yes. uh, who are definitely interested in your work and mm. your art. Oh, so you. after you finish singing, please give them, feel free to give them your details, how to contact you yeah. yes. for events or, you know, if uh, somebody is having uh, a wedding or a big <laughs> concert and... Uh, you want our lovely artist here oh, to come yeah. and grace Thank the you. stage. Thank you. Yeah, and if they want to call, they still we still have little, obviously. Time is always on our side, but we have a few seconds if you want to call her to ask her questions. You know, the number to call is 0208-808-0693. Stefan is here to answer any of your questions and whatever you have to tell her. The lines are open, so keep the calls coming in. But whilst you're trying to call, let's... Make me sing a song. Yeah, just, okay, just a line or just something. Just a line, okay. Yeah, you don't um, have to go deep. Don't give them everything. They need to yeah, get... Yeah, definitely. I don't like to give people too much, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you may think you know me, I'm full of surprises, see my armor shine, making all you haters blind. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I like that. I, 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 I love party songs. Have you done any party songs? <laughs> party songs. Yeah. What would you say was a party song? Like, like feeling hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Something, <laughs> something, you know, something, you know, something bang. You know those ones where you see people Club bangers. Get up. They can oh, bang. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. definitely. I mean, that's. I mean, it's a big thing going on in the UK right now to have a lot of like mixes and stuff like that. And I love a remix. So definitely on some on a, you know a majority of the tracks yeah. that I've done, we're going to be doing loads of different um, mixes and stuff like some okay. drum and bass, some. House. Talking mm. of UK artists, a quick one. Mm. Do you think uh, there's the right investment right now in terms of uh, uh, music uh, mm. in the UK? I mean, uh, I'll just demarcate to say mm. the black music, mm. or should I say uh, soul, R&B, garage, mm. Mm. that g genre of music. Mm. Do you think there's the right investment right now in Britain, or we need a bit more? I think um, what I've just noticed just from observation, I don't know all of the facts, but just from observing, I feel that um, when you're a black artist in the UK, you've only got a certain limit, um, certain kind of height that you can get to, mm. um, and uh, which is a shame, you yeah. know, because... Um, you know, you want to be able, like I said, and this is what I want to, you know, make clear, I'm a global artist, so I don't want to be, you know, restricted. just confined, exactly restricted to the UK and as a UK artist. And I think that unfortunately, sometimes that, that can happen to different, um, mm. to, 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 to artists in the UK, S black artists. So somebody UK. actually mentioned to me that uh, in the UK, the likes of, if they're watching, the likes of uh, uh, Trevor Nelson, mm -hmm. uh, the likes of Richard Blackwood, the uh, Jigs of Choice FM, mm -hmm. If such personalities, black personalities, came up with an entrepreneur idea, mm. it would help black people. Like what mm. we've seen in the United States with mm. uh, uh, Puff Daddy, mm. uh, 50 mm. Cent, mm. Uh, Dr. Dre. Mm. Do you think that if we had those kind of personalities, that's what mm. we... And that's what we are lacking mm. rather than complaining to say nothing is happening for us yeah I mean the reality is is that um, uh, you have to kick a lot of, of doors down yeah. and that's one of the um, mm. you know one of the things about um, Schlepp records if you ever go on the um, you know the website you'll see that they've they've been groundbreaking in a lot of the yeah. um, the the in a lot of movements within within UK music yeah. um, and it's hard work because there are a lot of doors shut on you yeah. when you're a black artist yeah. in the UK. Yeah. Um, and, but at the same time, it's sacrifice and yeah. it's not kind of like, a, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Selling out, you yeah. know, yes, we, you know, we need food to put on the table, but at the same time, you've got, you got to be integral mm. and you've got to stand by who you are. And sometimes yeah. being a black artist is put into this kind of bracket as, yeah. you know, this bracket as what you should look like and yeah. what you should sound like. Yeah. And, you know, you don't need to be told what, you know, what we black be, is or yeah. who, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's your, your culture and all of that should be involved. Is involved in it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, before um, we let Stefan go, we want to give you a touch of Stefan and watch a new music video. We'll be right back.
We're back. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a touch, like we said. They didn't allow you to get the whole flavor because we need you to go on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. Watch it. Keep liking. On website, stephandante.com. Yeah. Um, Facebook, which is um, Stephen Dante Official. And Instagram. Yeah, please you keep... You anything home, you'll get little snippets. <laughs> yeah please true yeah you have to wait till next is it next year well um now this will now now will be out november yeah okay and then her, the um hummingbird which is a working title will be out next year okay so get the clicking buttons ready keep liking it go on a facebook page go on instagram and keep liking and liking all the girls you know we all lo love to get our nails did anyway mine yeah, is not yeah. me today but <laughs> we all love it so please encourage her you know she's doing well Wonderful. Let's encourage us. She's starting up. Always support your friends, support your family, support your brother and your sister. It's for a good cause. Thank you so much. Thank Stephen, you for coming so on much. The show. Thank, Thank you, Stephanie. We really love Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So we'll be right back. Pretty, they still have a fire.